Baby Moses. <laughs> Are you ready for my spirit inspired questions for you? Okay. Somebody asked me the other day what I really represent, like what what denomination I come from, if I'm a Seventh day Adventist or Messianic or what. So if you encounter the same question, how would you respond to that? Like, what is your denomination? You just launching it with the quickness. Um, <clears throat> first, Hallelujah, Ruach Hakodesh, use us in these spirit inspired answers. Hallelujah, Amen. questions. The wife and I are asking these questions of each other. Um, she's asking me about what am I? Am I the church? <laughs> am I Israel? You know what? Good question. And I think that goes for most of the body. I'm finding out, you know, as I go around and I poke and prod, and some people are comfortable with what they understand. They just say, hey, all I know is I'm covered by grace. I'm nobody. Mm -hmm. I'm nothing. Uh, dirt and pebbles, hallelujah. But my thing is, we all know we came from, in a way, the 12 disciples mm -hmm. who were Jewish. Mm -hmm. Yeshua, Jesus, who is a Jewish rabbi, basically mm -hmm. the greatest teacher of all time. Mm -hmm. So him and it, it, the original Yaz gang, mm -hmm. Yahovah's Yeshua with his 12 chosen disciples mm -hmm. and one buster, you know. Mm -hmm. it, that's a Jewish original family of God. God and his people, you know, that's a family. Mm -hmm. and, but then the Catholic Church, you know, and I need to study more about how that came to be. But then it, it looks like all these others, the denominations, even this 20, 50 years ago, were, you know, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, all competing doctrinal divisions. Mm -hmm. And that all, you know, came from Catholicism. Even the Presbyterian Church that my grandmother's part of. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, it says Roman Catholic Church on their, in their readings. It's like... Why does it say the Roman Catholic Church, you know, on their little handout when it's a Presbyterian, you know, and then come to find that they're not that free to just worship and be in the spirit of liberty and freedom, you know, mm. and, and singing praises and they're just like ringing bells like, oh, oh, you know, and, and I'm going, dude, this place is going to be extinct. So, um, what am I? Well, well, exactly, you know, I'm part of this. The original Gold Street Gang, Yaz Gang, yeah. whatever that means. New Jerusalem, clear gold, walk and march, and soldier of the Most High. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. my my sect. <laughs> There's one sect, one body, one house, one belief, one God. Yeah. El Akkad. Amen. So, I, I what am I? I'm fire. I'm zeal. And yet nothing, yet everything for him, and he's everything to me, and I'm I lose it all and I gain everything and inherit everything he is, and the fullness thereof, he is everything in the fullness thereof. Amen. How much more if I'm one with him? Yeshua, hallelujah, hallelujah. Ruach Hakodesh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Quickening impartation. You be blessed for asking the question. <laughs> Man, you, you asked a crazy question, I could go on all day. <laughs> I know. Um, but what should others be? Mm. Others should be open-minded and observant of what's going on in the move of Yah True. in His people. There's wheat, there's tares. Make sure you're a piece of wheat. Mm. The close-minded are, are the ones that are sure that they are obviously God's God and mm. they're just stuck in their way and they're going to force their own personal, um, you know, it, the Pharisees' problem was they were running with the, with the, uh, the knowledge and trying to make it their own and make it their own way and mm. and God's like no 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 it's still my way mm. you don't change and add everything and change it all and then you become God you know mm. and that's where I think the spirit's missing and mm. man takes over Amen. so um, I would have to say don't be so quick to sign on the dotted line or sign up with anything study to show yourself approved that's good Pray and God will show you, uh, but don't don't just cut off stuff. Like I shared this one dude, Jim Staley. Well, the 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 report is still out on him. I'm still researching and feeding off him. Mm -hmm. You know, I got slammed with he's a heretic the moment I saw him. Well, actually, that looks like Satan, ha, Satan mm -hmm. the enemy, because 
It's like you don't even want me to even check him out. Mm -hmm. You know, he's explaining so much. You know, um, mm -hmm. passion for truth ministry. I mean, come on, what does that sound like? You know, that mm -hmm. to me is something I I want to have passion for the truth, and oh, yeah. that's what is lacking with the ear tickling uh -huh. uh, preaching. Is yep. it's lacking truth. They're not spitting the straight truth of the matter. Amen. The truth of the matter out here in the world is people don't want to talk about sin. Mm. In fact, sin doesn't exist. It's non-existent. Mm -hmm. It's just everybody love each other. Everything goes. Mm -hmm. That cannot be. Oil and water. So you just have oily water. There's no pure water left. That's true. So, you know, I'm not going to thirst again. I got the living water and it's pure. Amen. It's righteous. It's orderly it's kingdom made it's purity mm -hmm. we are taking back what the devil stole from us our purity yeah. as if all of us were yes. virgins again as if all of us were holy uh, uh the faith of a child innocent straightforward i trust you father Amen. hallelujah hallelujah okay zippo hey uh, i know anything yeah you got me rail in here. I know. Okay. Hallelujah. Um, hmm. Well, how do you feel about prophecy? Because I feel like the church is dodging, I mean, the denominations. I don't see people really, you know, this is Jesus they're talking about. The prophet. I know. That's a real good question. If you say you love Jesus, then you obey his word. But how can you obey what you don't know? And everything in scripture is prophetic. From the start to the end, everything is prophetic. Actually, everything is already finished. That's why Jesus said it's finished. Everything has already been written. So how can you not believe in prophecy if you claim to be a believer of Yeshua or a believer of Jesus? It, it, it goes hand in hand. The Bible is prophetic. So why they don't believe? I don't understand why they would believe the news more than prophecy. So all I can say is if you don't believe in prophecy or if you're not in the prophetic, then you better question yourself whether you are really a follower of Jesus. That's all I can say. Okay. Um, the other thing that we're dealing with, you know, they say, you know, there's only one name by which a man may be saved. And people think it's Jesus, but then there's a whole sector of sackcloth wearing crazy monks coming out of the woods mm -hmm. claiming it's Yahoshua and you know, and they're saying Jesus is his Egypt or Greek name and what do you think, this is my question about it though, what do you think is going to happen over time as the Hebrew Roots Movement begins to, you know, kind of separate the real from the fake? Well, as to your first question about the name, it's just like what I was saying to you one time. I'm like, if I'm Filipina and I can even speak English, and I just know we call Jesus Jesus. So if that's all I've known all my life, but I am a follower, a devout follower, and I obey all his commandments, and um, follow all the feasts, but I understood it in my own dialect. I don't think when I see, when I'm face to face with God, I don't think He'll say, I'm sorry you can't make it to my kingdom just because you were not able to pronounce my name right, or not uh, because you didn't say my name right. So that is not the basis for our salvation. And but as to your second question as to what is going to take place with all these uh, Hebrew movement, I believe that um, as we get to know Jesus better, then things are going to line up. And I, I, I remember one of the uh, women in church say that to us last Saturday, that there is a great movement going on and she's so excited about it and everything is just going to line up. And that's how God reveals himself to, to us or to those who are serious about him. It's just like me being married to you and be, our, our relationship with God is, is marriage, you know, it's intimacy. And the more I get to know you, the more familiar I am with you, the more I am acquainted with your likes and dislikes, with who you are. And it's not even a matter of whether I'm pronouncing your name right, but how well I know you. 
so the more the longer I am married to you and the more I uh, we cleave unto each other then everything's just lining up I mean years two years back or even a year ago we were not as one as we are now and next year we're even gonna be more one so that's how I see things lining up we we become more one uh, on a personal level and on a corporate level you know one house one flesh one body what about the great I am what about how come nobody says it? They don't walk around saying, I am in love with, I am. Well, I pray that the reason why they're not saying it is because it's so powerful that they Amen. want to respect. That's why they just don't say it. But if they don't say it because they don't understand, I mean, that word, those words in itself, I am, says everything about God. It's like, I don't need any explanation. I don't need to explain myself to you. I am the great I am, period. No ifs, no buts, no questions anymore. This is who I am. What's Hashem mean? God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what Hashem means? Hashem is actually the... Actually, remember the first time I've heard of Hashem was from a Jewish client? Oh. Remember? He called, I was making a brochure for him and he mentioned the word Hashem. And that's the first time I started researching about it. And it's a name that they are allowed to say because you can't really say the name of God. So I don't know if it's just for Orthodox Jews that, you know, started it. So, but it means the name. Yeah, it means the name because they can't say the name of God. So they just say Hashem. Cool. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? Whatever. How do you feel else? about the bride of Christ. Why? Why? Okay, here's a question. Since you're a bride, okay. but we're the bride, you know, um, why do people that say they believe in Yeshua, but then you start to talk about the bride and these big guys get kind of uneasy? <laughs> I have an answer for that. We were just talking about it. Are they ashamed? No, I, I'm gonna. I, I, I'm just having a revelation right now. Remember, we were watching our marriage video, and you were even saying that we just spent fifty bucks for it, while others are like so worried about the wedding. So it's an understanding of what marriage and being a bride is all about. You know, before we were married, I just wanted to be with you. I just wanted to spend time with you. I was not focused on the wedding. The wedding didn't matter to me. What mattered was the marriage. And so I believe this is the uh, same thing that's going on spiritually. Like people or followers of Jesus do not understand uh, the real meaning of the marriage. They're just looking at the wedding, you know, the festivities, going to church, uh, having fellowship, having Bible studies. But they don't understand the meaning of the bride. And they don't understand that the relationship with God and His church is a symbol, you know, of actually the epitome of marriage. Marriage is just an earthly symbol of a spiritual symbol of God and His bride. And so I believe that the reason why people can shun away from it is because of lack of understanding of what it really is about. If you don't understand that, then I don't think you have a relationship with Jesus because relationship with Jesus is marriage. It's mm. a commitment. Amen. Mm.